What the hell is this? So this episode's gonna be a little different. We're not actually gonna be making any gear. We are gonna be testing gear for the first time. So I thought, you know, why not go on Wish, go on Amazon, go on all these cheaper websites and find the cheapest knockoff gear that I can and, and we'll test it to see how it does against the pro level stuff. Our first option I feel like should be probably Wish. I, I have never seen hockey gear on Wish. Whenever you're buying something cheap, that's the first place you look. So let's let's grab the computer and let's go from there. Let's get into it. Like I said, I think we're gonna attempt to try wish first here okay so right off the bat I, i'm just looking at it and there's not much in the way of actual hockey gear they have a lot of under like um like shoulder padding but it's not actually hockey shoulder padding it's motorcycle padding holy jesus 330 oh my god so this is nuts four visors no name visors 330 bucks from three thousand one hundred and fourteen dollars okay this is what i'm really interested in we are on a site now called madeinchina.com they're selling everything they're selling knockoff nexus adv sticks i'm gonna message this company about these sticks you can't just buy them you have to inquire about them 37 to 74 dollars for a bauer adv so this one looks like i can buy one at a time most of them you have to buy them in bulk okay so we just sent the inquiry about our knockoff sticks here. This one, it looks like they're doing, they are, they're doing a flex test on this stick. So there is actual R&D going on in these factories. Holy, look at the whiff on that. No way. There's the Jofa. They're making knockoff Jofs. What is going on? I would like one helmet. I've sent out all these inquiries. It looks like we're just gonna have to wait for these companies to uh, send me a reply, see what they say. I'm hoping these will go through. I'll see you in a bit many months later all right guys so we're back it's been a couple months but the gear has arrived so now the only thing left to do is to open it and see what we got i don't remember exactly what we all got but i i got a pretty good idea of some of it so i'm gonna go for these first based off feeling these i have a, i have a feeling these are gloves yes they are okay these are our knockoff bauer gloves actual bauer bag the logo is coming off a bit bauer vapors 1x pro light Okay, they feel they feel a little pillowy, and the thumb is out of place a bit, but they look pretty close to the, the real ones. They feel very spongy, almost like just a big pillow, and they're 14 inch, but they, they look like they're about 16 inch. The stitching and everything actually looks fairly good. Well, they even have the, the logos and everything on the inside, and they have the 14 inch, so it is the right size. They have so much padding in them, it's so hard to describe. They look massive, they the shell of them is massive, but there's so much padding inside that it feels like you're sticking your hand into just like a massive pillow. Honestly, for a, a cheap set of gloves, I'm actually decently impressed. So the next box we're gonna open is this big guy here because I believe this smaller one goes with this as an accessory. So let's get the, the bigger one open first here. So this one I'm excited about. I have a feeling Jesse's really gonna like this one. So this is a helmet. I don't know if you can get the idea of what it looks like. I think I'm gonna have to take it out of the box here to show you. So this is an actually knockoff this is just a cheaper helmet this is a mylek helmet when i was a kid anyway we used to play with like their uh, road hockey equipment this is basically supposed to be a jofa replica helmet look at this thing oh my goodness it looks like the the forehead is caving in on itself also like it's shaped to fit around your nose this thing is literally the lightest helmet i've ever felt in my life this is like nothing it's just a couple pieces of foam and then just straight plastic give her a test fit oh she's tight what do we think i think we gotta get jesse to put this on maybe he can start wearing this instead of his uh timu got my new timu joe fabaki I like how on the inside of the helmet they have all these big just disclaimers saying that this helmet may not actually protect you you can see actually out of the corner hot glue is just pouring out i don't think it was made of the best materials this is an accessory for the helmet I think this was like two bucks. This is to replace that cage that is currently sitting on that Jofa helmet. It's just the Eric Special minus the tent. Go like I don't know nobody. And it does come with hardware, so we will be able to actually put it on the helmet. Okay, so now the last one. This is the one that I'm most excited about. So obviously it is a stick, as you can maybe tell by the shape of the package. But this is supposed to be anyway, a fake Bauer ADV, the stick with the hole in the blade. I've never actually held an ADV or seen an ADV in person. It was pretty expensive though. It was just over 200 bucks. I think the ADV 
Originally was just over 300. Take a look and let's see if she looks anything like the original. And there it is. So right off the bat, it looks great. Again, I've never felt one in my hand before, so I'm just realizing it has this spine in the back. It is gripped. It feels what I would think an ADV would feel like. But it actually feels good. It feels better than the stick I'm using right now, so. And it looks good. The graphics are shiny like they're supposed to be. They're printed pretty straight on. What do you think? Would you notice that this is a fake ADV if you saw this in person? It was 200 bucks, so I hope it's somewhat okay. Overall, though, for a fake ADV, like, it looks pretty good. I'm interested to see how it plays on the ice. All right, so now that we got all the gear in box, I have Corwin in the other room. He's going to come in here and see what he thinks all the gear, and then we're going to take it to hockey on Sunday and see how they perform. Okay. Okay, so we all know hockey gear is very expensive, so it sounds like Vince basically got some stuff that's uh, like, it's from Wish, it's not it's not the authentic stuff maybe. I would assume it's significantly cheaper. We're just gonna see what it ends up looking like. Here's the first thing, looking like gloves. They look pretty legit, like these are the Vapor 1X Pro lights. I don't know, I don't know how to feel about this. It's so weird, cause like gloves is such a weird one. It feels a little maybe stiffer than I would expect. It's so hard to say until you play with them but like they look legit i mean like vin said these were like 50 bucks shout out wish i guess i mean i'm i'm a little concerned and like because obviously that's my initial reaction also like i feel like i'm gonna use them three times and then the stitching is gonna come out in the palm or something okay on to the next one with a mylac helmet what the hell is this they are my crocs i had a cage like this at one point and it was because somebody took a slap shot off my face it's like they've shaped it to someone's nose wow i hate everything about this helmet <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure the goalies out there know this term, but the goal so Vince, I'm sure Vince knows this term, but like the goalie helmets that you can get for like a hundred bucks, sometimes they call them widow makers. This feels like that. There is very little padding in that thing. Whose head is that tall? Let me put this on. They just went full in on Bucky Hang. The kids, they want their cage to hang about like, you know, six inches below their chin. You know when you get those like styrofoam coolers for going to the beach or something? It looks like they cut off a piece of that and we're like, yeah, that's the chin guard. I'm not gonna spend too much longer on this. I just, overall, I just really hate it. So far, maybe, maybe get the gloves, don't get the helmet. Looks like it's a, there's a little accessory for the helmet. A little visor. Yeah, I mean, like, this seems like a visor. The cut is a little weird on it. I might be overthinking this. I might be crazy, but, like, something feels weird about the cut of the visor. Just the way it kind of, like, goes out, maybe? Like, overall, looks like a decent visor. Not a bad buy. Uh, our, our final unboxing here is the star of the show. The one everybody wants to see, right, is to stick. I have so many sticks. I just keep buying sticks. Can't help myself. This is the one I'm most interested in. Wow. Wow. Oh! An ADV got the sling tech. Man, like, again, this feels very light. It looks legit. They, but I'll tell you what, they're pretty good at making things look legit. I don't know if it's gonna perform legit. Pretty good, though. Like, I'm. <laughs> I'm very surprised, you know? Like, okay, I'll I'll take my choice items. They were basically like, we're gonna nail the Bauer stuff. I guess now all that's left is just see how it actually performs. So now it's time to test the gear. I got the boys here, and now I'm gonna give them their first looks. Let's start with it just because I think it's actually cool. This is a knockoff fake Bauer ADV. Oh, what? That looks real. It's actually pretty light. Like, usually you'd expect a knockoff to be like a brick. Oh, this feels actually, like, this feels really good. I like it. Can I use it? What do you, what do you mean this is a knockoff? Bro, you stuck in front of a banana on this thing? Like, that's a massive curve right there. Next piece. These are knockoff battle gloves. I mean, Again, they're actually, like, solid. They feel a little thick. Dude, if I saw these at a store, Aaron. like, I would buy them and I would have no idea that they were fake. These all look official. Like, I, you keep saying knockoff. I'm like, okay, but these look like I'd spend $200 on them. The bucket. Whoa, what is that? What is the protection in here? That is a concussion waiting to happen. What are these diamonds? <laughs> this is actually so sick. And, and just like every other helmet I wear with the visor, my nose somehow finds a way to stick Shut out up. beyond the visor. Vince, I love it, man. Review my safe job. What is that? Are you kidding me? I haven't played in about two years. Warm up lap. Oh, buddy. Can I go? I'm so scared right now. <laughs> with you. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Jesus, get me off here. That was rough. Dude, I missed the puck. <laughs> That was all the stick. That was all the stick. High stick and kids with cages. What a goon. I'm not gonna ask if that's legal. Uh, what do you think of it? Not legal. It's all the twig. It's the twig. Take me off. Honestly, I think the goalie let it in. He didn't even go down. He's for the content for sure. I appreciate it. Stick change, stick change on the fly. Go for a skate! I'm gonna blame the loss on myself. Let the team down, but uh, it's okay. Ozzy, it's great to have you out there, buddy. I like the gear. All right, so we got off the ice. I am actually super impressed with how the gear performed. I couldn't tell a difference. I, you know, I'm not probably not the best guy to test gear, but what do you guys think? Would you try knockoff gear? 